Okay. All right, Jet. Are we ready? Go ahead and meet this woman with her companion quest. Let's stop the music because we're gonna. There's voice acting. All right. I <laughs> mean, I should be fine with this though, right? Huh. Yeah. Angel fine. underscore feathers just resubscribed. Angel for three feathers. Months. Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you so much for three months. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you continue to enjoy your sub badge emotes and act reviewing. Thank you so much. All right. Speak with Dr. Edward. Okay. You receive a message from Dr. Edward. Dr. Edward has invited you to the Dreamscape sales store to experience a dream left for you by a lady named Black Swan. Of course, you know who Black Swan is, but cannot think why we would have left a dream for you. Why she would have left a dream for you. I mean, it's Black Swan, what do you mean? Go to the Dreamscape sales store to see. Perhaps you will only receive your answer once you experience it for yourself. Okay. Let's go. Uh, V, where are we going? Go. Confirm. All good, Yuri, all good. Yes, all good. If you guys need to lurk to avoid spoilers, please, please do, do so, do so. Thank you so much for hanging out, Yuri. Thank you so much. All right, Jet, let's do this. Last one can enter my dreams anytime. For real! Same, same. I'm just excited to do this. I need to stop avoiding spoilers, that's why. It's getting annoying. It's getting near impossible as well, chat. <laughs> Alright. Also, let me know if I need to this up place the, such fond the volume once we Character do start this. Oh, we had to go talk to the eye? Okay. Trailblazers from the Astral Express. Welcome to the Dreamscape Sales Store. Is that usually how you welcome customers? Oh, please excuse me. I struggle to think of an appropriate way of addressing such esteemed guests as yourselves. Mm -hmm. I've already made the necessary preparation. Be careful. We did pass the safety inspection stipulated by Article 027, Damage Ferris, and Article 076, Leo Maestro. However, this dreamscape will feature unfiltered and unpolished fresh memory. Okay. It will make for a very vivid experience. Got you. Veteran gamer, call this type of dream a thrill dream. I don't know if you're into that kind of thing. A if thrill you dream? Please leave the dreams get immediately and seek professional medical help. Okay, how wild is this dream gonna be? I just so happen to be an excellent doctor. Albeit a psychiatric one. <laughs> mm. Let us begin. Please, close your eyes and rest your forehead on the dream. Okay. Speaking of spoilers, I narrowly uh, narrowly avoided a part two spoiler for Honkai today on Twitter. What the heck? I'm so sorry, Fluvi. Luckily, you avoided it. Holy shit, I haven't encountered that. I've just been seeing stuff about uh, Senadina. Pretty much it, but like spoiler stuff? Like story stuff, you mean? No. Oh shit. Alright, touch the dream bubble. Oh yes. I nearly forgot. That elegant girl mm -hmm. mentioned something <clears throat> before she left. The nature of this memory is oh. special. Oh my god. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. You know what? She's talking to everyone who's... Yeah. She's talking to spoilers. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. Truer words have never been said. Fucking hell. These spoilers can't stop me. I, I don't know how to read. Okay. Uh... Crap. Uh, there's going to be trash cans? Ugh. All good. Yeah, if you guys need to lurk, go ahead and lurk. It's not going to be too long anyways. You guys said it's going to be like, what? 45 minutes to an hour, if anything? Because then afterwards, we're going to continue the memory of chaos. Uh, too, and just beat some ass. Challenge. See, I listened to Mommy Black Swan. Exactly. Okay. Thank you for the lurk. Black Swan is in your team. Obviously, she's going to be on my team. No, I'm not using the trial one. I'm curious about the trial one, but I'm using my my black swan. And then let's bring in you. Let's bring in my dots team. That might just be overpowered, but fuck it. Oh, I can't do that shit. Can I do a quick quick setup? Thank you. 
That one, that one, Ruan Mei, and my Hua Hua. Confirm. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. There she is. There she is. Oh my, my god. In my estimation, there is no question about it. This is murder. It should be illegal how hot she looks, guys. I'm sorry. Damn. Like, look at her. God damn. Murder. Such a Oh, murder. Workplace. Sorry. The people of Penacone could never come to any harm while under the watchful protection of the family. In a dream, even if you're bashed a thousand times with a hammer, at worst, you'll still wake up in reality in a hotel. Not mm -hmm. necessarily. What Even the if the result does not constitute harm, the criminal intent is clear enough. You specifically came here to cordon off the scene because of the unsavory nature of this case, right? Okay, okay, but my question is, my question is, is this really Sampo at this point, though? That's my problem. Yeah, is this the real Sampo? Because obviously we did part two, not part two, part one of the story. The main story that wasn't Sampo. That was not Sampo. Now, mmm. Mmm. Sparkle, I swear to God, if this is you. I swear to God. I love Sampo. I want to marry him. Sampo. Yeah, I don't think. I don't know if this is the real Sampo or not. Sampo was never. Yeah, he was never real. He never was real. So I'm going to assume that it's safe to assume this is Sparkle, still in disguise. You're not wrong. Even if there are no casualties, being smashed over the head with a hammer in the middle of the street for no reason at all. This is not the kind of thing that happens on Penacone. You are guests at the Oak family, so you may investigate the crime scene. I'll be on standby over here. My. Are you a witch? Just how did you manage to convince them in the blink of an eye that we're some kind of detectives? Tell the truth. Offer no explanation. Hmm. Hmm. Offer no explanation. Just some suggestions at the memory level. If something happens and everybody. Yeah, I need memory, to raise the volume, guys. Once we're out of this dialogue, it's too that. low for me. Rather than hearing endless explanations, would you like to experience it for yourself? No, no, no. You... Hey, you can save that for the enemy. God damn. Okay. <clears throat> then on to the next order of business. Let's. I need to stop shrimping, guys. <laughs> shall we? I need to focus. Memo keeper of oh, the Garden fucking of hell. I've been watching you for. <sighs> The fuck does this bitch want now, guys? You stole a glance at me when you first entered the hotel. You followed me wherever I went inside the dreamscape. In the windows along the commercial street. In the pond water reflections of the Ideen Park. Even in the reflections of the wine glass. Everywhere. What does bitch want? Leave me alone! God, I keep staring down to Sampo's way. My god, he looks like a whore. Here's the difference. I completely ignored Sampo, but in the previous, like, frame when they were talking, I was legit looking at Black Swan's waist. The reason why I said goddamn is because she looked curvier than normal. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> That's why I said I need to stop shrimping. You have two eyes. Stop shrimping. Yeah, not happening. Yeah, that's that's what caught me off guard. That's what I was like, God damn. She looked a lot more curvier. Maybe it's the way she was standing. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't the same? This is why I said. Wait, what? Would normally be 45 minutes, but I feel you're going to shrimp for about four hours. And that's why, because we're shrimping with you. Exactly, exactly. 
Maybe for sure, but I wonder if it's indeed Allegra voicing her. No, 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 East Dragon. It's already been confirmed who the the VA for the Black Swan is. It's confirmed. That's not Allegra Clark. Allegra Clark is Acheron. And only Acheron so far that we know of. The fuck you said it. Yeah, two eyes, two eyes. Two eyes. All right, let's see. Dear, yeah, that's not Acheron at all. That's not Akron. That's See, not Black uh, Lego so Park. Let's play a little game. Hmm. I left a puzzle for Oh, the Bloodhound family long. member. Oh, okay, okay. So I got solve you. it and prove that you're capable of pleasing me. If you can solve it, then we can talk. Don't leave me waiting, my dear. It might be possible. It has to be confirmed, though. Yeah. Let's not assume, down. though, guys. Try to find me. Catch me. How about no? Me. Oh, God. There's actually more than one memo keeper who's come to Panacone. She's mixed me up with someone else. But no harm, no foul. The address that the mask gave you is right here. But you never would have thought that when Miss Sparkle mentioned a game, she was talking about wanton slaughter on the streets of Panacone. Mm -hmm. Such a direct act of provocation is enough to get my competitive side worked up, too. Madam, forgive me. <laughs> I had no idea about anything she said. As you saw, I went through a brain scan and everything. Uh -huh. I'm just a friend, helping her deliver a letter. That's all. Mm -hmm. I never knew this was actually a declaration of war. Nah, the sparkle. They the say sparkle. you shouldn't kill the messenger. So maybe you can just. You I know, need Trailblazer to show up so I can confirm. Go. You all are the big shots here. I'm really not on your level. <laughs> what a frightened look you have. Don't worry. God, I love this little Since menace. This has nothing to do with you, you would. I won't be suspecting <laughs> you of anything. Why don't you come take a stroll with me? Uh -huh. oh, seems like I can't escape being an assistant detective. Oh, fine. It's all fine. No big deal. No big deal. I do. I do know your type. And I do. Oh, this is the one you guys are talking about? The Bloodhound family member? Okay, let me listen. We won't, we won't assume, though. If there's but... anything you'd like to know, please ask away. Regarding the victim. Who was the victim? An IPC employee named Shamari. Eyewitnesses reported that a tall, strong man wearing a large robe with long sleeves walked right I can past hear Shamari. We won't know until this confirmed, though. And suddenly assaulted him yeah. with a hammer. Shamari collapsed on the spot and woke up from the dream. The murderer vanished in a flash. Ooh, that sounds just like Sparkle. Her best asset is transforming her appearance to look like someone else. Okay. Uh, regarding the sweet dreams trope present at the scene of the crime. Who are those two little guys? Seems like the assailants stole the troop from elsewhere and deliberately placed them here. But nerve. They don't even have the slightest consideration for public order. Those two have clammed up. I wonder if you two could help pry open their mouths. Looks like a puzzle that Sparkle has left behind for you. Hmm. Regarding evidence at the scene of the Any crime. yet? This is a developing case, so there aren't many clues yet. All we have to go by are the weapon used by the assailant and the victim's ID. They didn't even take the weapon with them. Sounds like they're trying to provoke us. Despicable. Okay, can we summon the Where victim? Where is Mr. Shamari right now? I'd like to meet him. I'm afraid you can't. The Oaks came forward and calmed him down. Mr. Shamari expressed that he understands the unpredictable nature of dreams, and went on to vacation in another dreamscape. Best not to bother him. Kind of, Best kind of, yeah. experiences always have to come first. A little similar, but somewhat oh, different, yeah. By the time we Maybe we'll know him, one day. 
once the, the VO is uh, able to officially announce it. By sparkle. Looks like we'll have to play this little game of Sparkles then. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to play Sparkles game, chat. I truly don't. I don't want to. Okay. Con what? Constable? Fuck, I forgot to bring here. up the volume. Oh well, I'll do it later. And this here assisting me is the bailiff. The constable. Mr. Coldfeet, why'd you do it? So they can talk after all. Miss Black Swan, they're heading straight for you. Don't interrupt, I wasn't talking to you. Ahem. I understand Lady Black Swan has quite the intellect. I'm sure you'll be able to get to the bottom of the Sparkle Murder Case. The Sparkle murder case? Wasn't the victim Shamari from the IPC? You're wrong, Lady Black Swan. The victim is evidently none other than the matriarch of the Goldhammer family, Miss Sparkle Goldhammer. Oh, I guess Miss Sparkle has written herself into the skit here, and this has nothing to do with the actual case. Goldhammer? Is that her real surname? Never heard of it. Sounds made up. Sparkle doesn't sound like a real name either. Miss Sparkle mm -hmm. was supposed to receive three valiant warriors at the Goldhammer residence today, but upon their arrival, all they found was her body. Miss Sparkle had been smashed over the head by a hammer and died on the spot. Uh huh. Brutal act of violence. Mm hmm. My investigations discovered that the three warriors were supposed to escort supplies back to their territory the day before, but they were unexpectedly ambushed by the Annihilation Gang. They narrowly escaped and barely got away with their lives, finding their supplies almost completely raided. So they all shared a motive for killing Miss Sparkle. To escape punishment! So the three mm. of them teamed up to kill her. <gasps> Is the case closed? No, there can only be one murderer. It's not an unsolved mystery if there are three murderers. Hang on, wait. Hmm. Uh, if you can't justify it, don't bother. Got it. Those three were all vying against each other to be numbered. So I was thinking. They couldn't have cooperated on anything. So it must have been one of them acting alone. Mm, that actually doesn't make much sense. Even if they were on bad terms, those three... Please begin your investigation, Lady Black Swan. There are lots of clues at the crime scene that are sure to help you apprehend the real culprit. I've got the case file right here. If you want to learn more about the suspects, talk to me. Okay. Ask the bailiff about suspects. Okay. Lady okay, Black okay. Swan, allow me to introduce <clears throat> the three suspects to you. Lefton, Zhongshan, and Wright. Lefton, Zhongshan, and Wright. Lefton is one of Miss Sparkle's chief lieutenants, whose right hand was unfortunately severed while he was valiantly fighting off the Annihilation Gang. Okay. He's now learning how to write and hold a fork with his left hand. So he has how no right hand. That must be. Then there's Zhongshan. This guy's a coward who ran away as soon as a group spotted some bandits along the road. <laughs> he ended up smashing into the side of a cliff and getting his face disfigured. It's Maybe. a real shame, yeah. as he used to be one of the rare handsome men left oh, around town. Oh my god. Left on and right. I see what you did there, oh yo, yo. Oh my god. Okay, so wait, then there's Zhongshan. This guy's a coward who ran away as soon as the group spotted some bandits along the road. He ended up smashing into the side of a cliff and getting his face disfigured. Jesus. It's a real shame as he used to be one of the rare handsome men left around. Jesus Christ! Are they saying everyone else is just ugly? Fuck! Damn! First of all comes right. 
This guy was so insatiably greedy that he still came back to try and embezzle the rest of the supplies after they narrowly escaped with their lives, lying about how the gang had taken off with everything. Lefton and Zhongshan were so incensed that they broke his legs. Okay, so Lefton and Zhongshan were so incensed that they broke his legs. Okay. Fuck, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with this. Okay. Hang on. I'm confused here. Left on? Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. Is this some kind of joke. I also love that the one who lost his right arm is left on. Yup. Yup. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, Amelia. What? Where did you get that idea from? Do you need me to go over it all again? Uh, oh god. Fuck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm, yeah, okay. Got yes, it. please. Left on is missing but, a right arm. Okay. It sounds like Mr. Assistant Detective has his own misgivings. Would you like to go over it again? This is a lot of shit. Okay, Lefton do it again. Is one of Miss Sparkle's chief lieutenants, whose right Wait. hand was unfortunately severed while he was Therefore, fighting off the annihilation. Left game. on, left arm. Okay. He's okay, go, go. Shan. This guy's a coward who ran away as soon as a group spotted some bandits along the road. He ended up Zhong Shan. How can I remember this is the disfigured dude? Face disfigured. Uh it's a real shame. I'll remember probably. As he used to be one of the rare handsome men left around I can't town, with this line though. Last of all comes right. Right. This guy was so insatiably greedy that he still came back to try and embezzle the rest of the supplies after they narrowly escaped with their lives, lying about how the gang had taken off with everything. Lefton and Zhongshan were so incensed that they broke his legs. Okay. Okay, so Lefton has only one left arm or left hand, whatever. Zhong Zhan is the disfigured dude. He used to be the most, he was the only handsomest guy. Okay. And then right has no legs. Okay, broken legs. That's all, all right, all right. Tell we have on the three suspects. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. He has taken notes in my mental notepad, which probably is going to break any second because I'm not going to remember any of that. Just watch. Okay, okay. Ah. Uh, are we going? Oh, here. So we're playing detective. Look, an ID card. Uh, talent motivation department, Shamari. Is this the victim's? Mr. Shamari's belongings should have disappeared alongside him as he woke mm -hmm. from the dreamscape. The fact that this ID is here means Miss Sparkle placed it here on purpose to prove that she definitely attacked someone. Mm hmm. Okay, so evidence ID, work of talent modification department in the inter Astro Peace Corporation, most IPC staffs value their uh, their ID greatly. Apparently, some have even installed it onto their forehead. What? What the fuck is this quest, guys? <laughs> hold up, I have. To, I I'm sure I read this incorrectly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold up. Uh. I'm okay. The ID belonging to Shamari, a worker of the talent motivation department, the Inter Astral Peace Corporation. Most IPC staff value their ID greatly. Apparently, some have even installed, quote unquote, it onto their forehead, ensuring that they can show it off to people wherever they go. That's dumb. What the fuck? Sparkle probably left it at the crime scene to prove that she really did assault someone. What the fuck? Investigate. Moly, moly, this hammer is super heavy. But they're fun at this parties. Must Stop. Be the murder weapon for the Sparkle <laughs> murder case. Corporate loyalty. Miss Sparkle also used it to attack Mr. Shamari. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm barely able to lift this using both hands. I have no idea how Sparkle could ever use this to hit a target. Okay. Now I'm scared to read about the hammer. Some super good at pin in the tail of the donkey, I'm sure. Okay. The giant wooden hammer Sparkle used to attack Shamari. It seems to be a custom made model specifically for her. It is extremely heavy, and even Sampo can't lift it on one in one hand. What a her oh my god. He Herculean woman. So it's a bond stick, yeah. You know, I think Sampo is the better person after meeting Miss Miss My Little Pony. Oh my god. It's the fact that she has a hammer. 
She's got a bonk hammer, Jet. I don't know how to feel about this. Is that all the evidence? How are we meant to solve this with so little to go on? <clears throat> oh, okay. Shit. Oh, you scared me. When did you pop out? The two pieces of evidence that you found are related to the attack on Shamari. Miss Sparkle didn't leave them lying around for no reason. They're clues to the puzzle. But... There are still some other clues that were placed in other areas. So they won't spoil the crime scene. Isn't that a bit unnecessary? No, no. It's disruptive to have a stack of irrelevant things crowding a crime scene. Miss Sparkle is a law-abiding citizen who mm -hmm. would never bring extra trouble to the family. Okay. Seems quite nice of her, if you ask me. Hmm. Looks like Miss Sparkle is adding a little spice to the investigation. Let's take her up on her offer then. Mr. Assistant Detective, this way. I love her voice so much, guys. God damn. Also, um, I believe some one of y'all said that uh, uh like the story will let me know if uh if that is Sample or Sparkle. I'm calling it out. That's Sparkle. That's Sparkle. Oh, oh, it's Morphin Time, Hanu! It's Hanu! I'm sorry, I got way too excited for that chat. <laughs> I got way too excited for this little guy. <laughs> uh, enter the room where Sparkle hid the clues to the puzzle. Okay. It's my little, it's my little dude. It's my little dude. I can't do the voice again, man. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi, Code Purple. <laughs> I fucking love this old dude so much. Okay, okay. Investigate. Ooh. Hmm. What's this little device here for? Could you please let me know? It looks like a little button. Don't push it, Lady Blackstone. Whatever you do, don't push it. Don't that push it. Nah, 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 nah. Once pushed, this nah. Sparkle and the entirety of Penacone will instantaneously go up in smoke. Nah. You cannot chat. Y'all know me. You cannot show me a button and tell me not to push the button. Miss Sparkle also has her own button. The second she pushes hit, you and the entirety of Penacone will instantaneously go up in smoke. Why don't I believe you, though? That sounds like... Both buttons can do the exact same thing. Exactly. Exactly. I don't believe it, though. Balance! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, raiders! Can't confer without a thought to casualties. Yes, we'll smack that button. <laughs> I will. I will. Welcome, welcome, raiders! Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? How was stream? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. What were you up to today? Thank you so much for those of you who do not know me. My name is Yesenia. I am a voice actor as well as a variety VTuber and Hoyo creator. I stream a lot of Genshin, Star Wars, and many other games. Oh, oh, you gave him the wrong fancy shot. It's fine. If I, once the cooldown is done. Once the cooldown is done, give him the, the fancy one. If, if one of my mods could be so kind. You were playing Star Rail. What were you up to? We strayed from God to Day. How so balanced? How so? What do you mean? But welcome in. Hello, Clownery. Oh, Academy. Thank you for the follow as well. Hello, uh, Kiwi Bin. Welcome in. It's lovely to meet you. I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, is Fancy like No, 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 no. Fancy is the fancy one that you can do that shows up in the, the top of the chat. That one. So do not- No, no, you're fine. You're safe. You're safe. <laughs> I don't have that uh, on my streams. Hello, Jill3DS. Welcome in. Hello, not the end. Welcome in, guys. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. What were you doing in Star Rail, by the way, Balanced? Are you, did, are, are you caught up with the story? I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, we're currently doing uh, Black Swan's companion quest. So I completely understand if you need to lurk. Anyone in any of the, the raiders, if you need to lurk to avoid spoilers, completely understand. Uh, Balance, if you need to go get some food. 
get yourself some uh, hydration or just relax, please feel free to do so. I completely understand. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to hang out here with us or lurk away. Whatever you prefer. Thank you guys so much for the raid. Oh, conundrum stuff. You were doing conundrum stuff. Yeah, I have to go in. I might do a little bit today, possibly, because we do need a little bit more gems now. <laughs> but I hope you had fun. Some unrelated clips. Totally in, in, uninvolved. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. But yes, thank you so much for the raid, Balance. And thank you for giving them a shout out. And guys, if you're not following Balance, follow Balance, please. Show them all the love. Oh, my goodness. Tainari, the raid message. Are you a Tainari main? Is that what it is? All right, I'm gonna... But yes, uh, if you guys need to avoid the spoilers for Black Swan's companion quest, I completely understand. Please feel free to do so. We, uh, we just started it. We're not really in too deep into it, so you're right on time. Ah, that's why. You're a Tainari main. Let's go. Is a Tainari main. Hello, Ag Ag is it Agito? Agito Saber or Agito? The way I went ball to finish the story so I can play if I can stop one heart from breaking 24-7. Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh, God. Either is fine. Okay, yeah, because my Spanish wants this kick in and I want to say Aguito. That's why, because we say our Gs like, like, a, like a, a G instead. So I wasn't too sure. When you get him, it'll be official. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I hope you can get him soon. Welcome back, Tan. Computer's having a hissy fit, and I'm doing every diagnosis check under the sun to find out what the fuck is going on. Jesus Christ, I hope you can figure it out. I hope you can figure it out. All right, let's continue this, guys. Well, thank you so much for the raid balance. I truly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. You're such a nice friend. But yeah, guys, I was saying, um, don't give me a button. I will smack that button. I will. Y'all want blueberry smoothie? Ooh, a blueberry smoothie sounds good, honestly. Uh, oh. Okay. Aren't you going to ask me why? Oh my god. <sighs> Prower 26, thank you for the jump scare. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Thank you for playing jump scare for 100 bitties. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. Why? She is fair. She's not fair. I'm calling now. Yes, Mac in the button emote. Oh, that's part of the list already. Yeah. That's definitely part of the race. I think it's going to be one of our animated emotes instead. I already have a, the list of 20 static ones, which I will slowly get to work on for 2.0. And I'm slowly filling up the, the animated slot ones as well, which the herb basically imagine, you know, the bongo cat that presses the button and everything explodes. Imagine something like that. That's what I plan to get because it's so fitting for my character. This is nuts! <laughs> Cause I need to throw a banana in for the blueberry smoothie. Do it. Do it. Blueberry and banana. I feel like a banana like a smoothie, a fruit smoothie, can't go wrong if you put a banana in there as well, honestly. It also gives it that texture a little bit too. This is totally trustworthy and fair. Not biased at all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, not biased, right? What does this button say? Apparently, one little press on, thi on this button will level all of Penacone. Who wouldn't want to try pressing it? I want to press the button, Jet. I want to press the button. I truly do. Damn it. What? Let me press the fucking button. Okay. All right, wait, 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 wait. I gotta go that way. Okay, okay. Well, the thing easier. Yeah. Little bubbles. Oh, we might have to. Okay, I need to. Yeah, return to normal form for now. Huh. Okay. I need to break something here. Ah, okay. Morphin time again. Look, I don't mind yes with bombs. Yes with bombs is adorable and funny and scary, but uh, that's our little gremlin. Just don't blow me up with it all the time. <laughs> uh, I can't make promises, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> mm. 
But yeah, that <laughs> that is how we're, you're definitely going to get that emote. That emote, I I have it planned to get as an animated one for 2.0. Just yeah, that bongo cat. I, you guys have probably seen the gif of it. I think I have one. Hold on. Do I have it? No, I don't have it with me. Shit. But the gif of that bongo cat that has a button right in front of it, and it presses the button, and everything just goes boom. Yeah. Yeah, that specific bongo cat. There is another variation of that bongo cat that has a button in front of it. Yeah, that one. But then he presses that button and everything just goes boom. That's the type of emote that I plan to get with my 2.0 model. It's going to be an animated one. I'm definitely going to get it. I need it. It's on par. It's on par. Wait, yes, Lord here. <laughs> she is a moon goddess, but she likes pressing bombs. She likes to play with bombs. That's mmm. Mmm. Yes, pressing a button, a boom button with when Kafka ulties for her boom. Yes! Yes! Yes, I love it, Cisco. Just make up our own language on the fly is wild. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that one, yeah. Alright. Uh oh, we gotta go there. Can I do the voice? <clears throat> I'm gonna try it, chat. Hold on, let me see, because I need to remember how I did it. I don't remember how I did the last time. <clears throat> it's been so long since I went this deep, though. Okay. Hey, chat. Yo, want a bomb emote? How we feeling about a bomb emote? How you doing? The fuck is that sound? Wait, something legit just sounded. <laughs> what the fuck just sounded? Oh, okay, I see what it is. My chicken wings are good. They're done, guys. I had them heating up. I might go grab them. Oh, I need... Oh, dreams jigsaw, give me. Okay. So for that game, I want to see what happens to Lee. <laughs> to be fair, we both... We both need... All the bombs! I don't want to watch all the play the past within game. It's a co-op puzzle like game. Ah, all right. Give me a sec, chat. Let me just go check really quickly on my chicken wings. I did have them heat have them heating up. Hold on. <laughs> Model's gonna stare you guys down for a bit. Time for the master stroke. Time for the master stroke. I'll be back. I'm running. Sorry, I'm back. They had him ready for me already waiting. Holy shit. I can't hear. Alright, what did I miss? Y'all know what to do, chat? Stare into her eyes, confess your sins. That's another emo we're gonna get, which is gonna be static. But it, it's gonna be missing with this current model because with the 2.0, I'm gonna have the sleep animation when I go uh, AFK. The fact that the model's here is moving when she's not. All right? Is there a breeze? Yeah. In VTube Studios, you can put a wind, if anything. You can, I have it very mi uh, minimal. Like, it can go wild, honestly. <laughs> it's like you have a fan right in front of her. Alright, uh... What am I looking at? Okay, these pieces... You go there. You go there. Okay, okay. Let's go... I confess my sins of giving Chad a heart attack, then proceeding to turn them into a monster. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh my god. Go there, and then you over here. Do I need to flip any of y'all? Probably so. I might have to flip one of you. Wait, what? Hey, listen. Thank you for the follow! Oh, it's this one here. Yeah, there we go. Thank you for the follow, Ghost Official. Welcome in. There we go. Aw. The fuck is this, though? Investigate. What's this? 
a plush toy. So my mom got me some mint tea. Time to try this out and hope I'm not drinking Colgate. I'm not, I'm a fan of mint tea. I don't drink it all the time, but it's not so bad. I guess it just depends on your liking, your preferences, yeah. My sin is that sometimes I think chat gets too big for their bridges and so I make a new toy for you specifically designed to punish them. Oh my god. What a cute bunny. I can't keep doing her crest. Her voice is so soothing. It makes me eepy. Girl. Girl, her voice is so soothing. But it just has me shrimping. Shrimping hard. Tea for Peppermint tea is good for headaches. Hey, Got you. you. Thank you for the follow, Aguito Saber. Regardless of why it's designed to look like the conductor aboard the Astral Express, this doll, is it connected to the case? Have you ever heard of something called a red herring in detective stories? Mm-hmm. It's a fake clue that leads you down the wrong path. I see. Well, when it's so obvious, make it doesn't bomb, that bomb. defeat the purpose? But that's just in case you didn't realize the ingenuity of Miss Sparkle and were worried about her throwing out a random useless clue. <laughs> I see. Thank you for your keen insight. Oh, I love that voice. God damn. Let's pretend we were misled I can't. by a red herring. <gasps> hmm. This doll. Could it be connected to the case? Fucking hell. Damn. Yeah, I, I'm in love with this woman's voice. Nietecita, were you here? I got her E1. It came home early. <laughs> uh, I got her E1. It came out 40 pity. Yeah. It came home, it was guaranteed, but it came at 40. Yeah, I got fucking lucky. <laughs> you love mint chocolate chip. You know what? Mint chocolate chip is really good. Hi, Juiced. I find mint tea great for when you have a cold. Yeah, very true. Very true. And also, is like what Nolly is saying, it's also good for like headaches and stuff. Yeah. Time for E2. No, 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 no. Now we wait for Akron because we know I'm going to end up swiping for Akron anyways. But also, maybe not because Starwell is very fucking generous with their gems. And, uh, and like with the specifically event stuff, yeah. And just exploration. I've got a ton of exploration to do as well. And Golden Gears. Uh, you don't have to play along that hard, you know. Hi, Walking Brad, how's it going? Also, yeah, we ended up trying her out in, um, in Pure Fiction. When I tell you it was stupid, it was stupid because. It was legit like auto without pressing the auto button. That's that's I'll leave it at that. The streams are going well, Walking Red. I hope you've been doing good. Yeah, you yeah, E1 at 4052. Let's go, Juiced. Hell yeah. I don't know if I've ever asked. Wait, what? Oh god, what are you gonna ask? Considering Blackstone's light cone because it's good. Yeah, her light cone is really good. Is it necessary? Not really, but yeah, it's really good. I have it on my black swan. It's amazing. It was like auto. I didn't know Black Swan could heal. Coming in strong. Welcome in, walking bread. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Are you just Limp Biscuit Speedier's cousin? Limp bis Biscuit. Is that the. Limp. What? It was basically a built in room. Yeah, it is. I agree. I agree, Juiced. Vanilla, vanilla. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hi, Riri80. Welcome in. Hi, vanilla, vanilla. I hope you had a lovely time today on stream. What were you guys up to? Welcome in. Vanilla raid. Vanilla raid. Hello, hello. Welcome in, guys. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Yesenia. I am a voice actor as well as a variety VTuber and Hoyo creator. Welcome in. We're currently we're currently playing Star Wars doing Black Swan's companion quest. Oh, you're playing Nikkei. What are you doing in Nikkei today? Did you pull for Privati? I keep rolling and rolling away and gotcha get <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> I can't! Okay, I will say it. Okay, okay, I'm gonna give you that one, Walker Bread. That's actually really good. <laughs> oh my god! Points! Points! She was destroying raptors. Okay, I got it. We love Nikkei, especially for the plot. Exactly. Which I, I can't wait to get started on Miracle Snow, guys. 
Nike! You got Ewan so I can keep Ruanmei with Jingmu. Fair. That also frees up my Ruanmei, if anything, for my other team. Now that I have Ewan on my Black Swan. Yeah. Uh, but you were doing Raptors. Okay, I've been lucky to get a copy of Maid. Pravati and Age with a minimal recruitment. Let's go! We take that! Hell yeah! Because we're going to chapter 26 progress. Nice! Sounds like a very pro productive stream. Let's go! I'm glad that you had fun. Thank you so much for the raid. If you need to go get food, rest up, please feel do feel free to do so. Otherwise, you're more than welcome to hang out here with us or lurk away. Thank you so much for the raid. Was it a 6 SSR 10 pole? Right? Ah! Uh, I got E1 to use Ruame and Black Swan even more together. True, I had both of them. You, like you saw, you guys saw the team that I ran in Pure Fiction. Holy shit, it was it was amazing. Got to take a shower and eat dinner. All good. Enjoy your dinner, Riri. It's wonderful meeting you as well. Thank you for the lurk. I've always got 500 gold molds and about 40 standard tickets when May Pravati gets added on standard in case I can get one more. Ooh, yes, yes, amazing, love it. Uh, an exquisite pom pom toy. Who knows why Sparkle would have something like this? Maybe it's truly because the Conductor's beauty is famous throughout the cosmos? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a bo Do I have to fight you? Um, no, I, I don't have to fight you. I have to avoid you. I do. Investigate. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Push. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Hanu has, over has overcome Boss Stone's minion with his wisdom, which is impressive. That's funny. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, you gone, gone. I see you. Yeah, you gone, gone. Okay, how do I go to the side? There we go. All right. And then nothing below there, right? That was satisfying. I'm not even going to lie. That really was satisfying. Imagine being able to do that as like one of your characters, not just as Hanu. Seems like a hint for us from Miss Sparkle. Mm -hmm. Gold Hammer Resident Security Regulations. To prevent criminals from hurting our great and lovely Miss Sparkle, the Gold Hammer residents shall abide by the following regulations from today onwards. All retainers and visitors must enter and exit the Golden Hammer residence using the facial recognition system. Those who cannot pass through the facial recognition system will be killed on the spot. Oh, shit. These regulations are in effect indefinitely. Well, that's kind of drastic, don't you think? Damn. Reasonable rules. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Imagine not, pa imagine not passing that facial recognition system and then getting killed right on the spot. <laughs> Definitely some drastic measures there. Hi, Nick. Yeah. Just imagine. It's fair. <laughs> that sounded Damn. like a story from ancient times. <laughs> and Honjo too. And why did the facial did recognition system suddenly go out? We have some water. This I think is these... so her style. Isn't My wings it? are too hot to eat right now, so I'm gonna let them cool off. It is her Doesn't style. Look it like is. there are any more clues. Let's head back to the crime scene. Okay. Next, should we pin down the identity of the perpetrator? This evidence. I've been staring at it all day, but there's nothing that can identify the perp. Mm -hmm. Lefton, that guy lost his hand. <laughs> if I don't know you, why you here? Why you here? All right, Lefton. This guy lost his hand. He lost his right hand specifically. That's why he's called Lefton. Okay. Remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the mm -hmm. cliff, right? Yes. Right. I remember this one best. Wright has a broken leg. Wright has a broken leg. I thought it was both legs. Because both Zhang Shong and Lefton broke his legs. Plural, not leg. The fuck? Why don't we flip the question and start by asking who Why are they changing this now? Murderer? <laughs> After all, there are <laughs> only three suspects. Hi, Jay! So elimination could be a valid method. Say hi real quick and have a good day. Oh, good. Thank you so much for dropping by, Jade. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day and you've been well. If you put it like that, then yeah, something do you already here. have someone in mind? Tell me. Come on. You're changing shit. You're changing shit, Sampo, if that's what I can call you. Um. Yeah. I thought right was... Yeah, because it said previously, Zhong Shong and Lefton broke his legs. Okay. 
And now he's saying broken leg. Alright, I see you. Oh, we can talk to him, okay. So, who exactly is the murderer? Oh, fuck. Remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the cliff? Mm -hmm. Right? How goes the story so far? It's going good, it's going good. So, remember Zhang Shan's face was disfigured after the incident at the cliff, right? Okay. Why did I just picture yes running into frame and going sample if that's your real name and then disappear? Yep, yep. <laughs> that would be me. That would be me. This figured after the incident at the cliff. Okay. Uh Can I read this? Yes, I can. Okay. This is where they install it into their forehead. Okay. Giant wooden hammer Sparkle used to attack Shamari. It seems to be custom made, model specifically for her. It is extremely heavy, and even some can lift it in one hand. Okay, and then this one it says, oh shit. Copy of the gold hammer. Resident security regulations. Sparkle probably made it up to in the spot just for the detective game, it says. Uh, terrain criminals from Hardin. All retainers, visitors. Okay, this is the facial recognition that we just got, right? Or in fact, immediately, and then. The button said, apparently, one little press on this button will leave all Penaconi who would want to try pressing it. And evidence, an exquisite pump-on toy who knows why Sparkle would have something like this. Maybe it's truly because the conductor's beauty is fame. Okay, I feel like that has no space. I kind of want to say the idea. I might, gonna be, I might be wrong. Oh, is that so? Yeah, I know. I feel like the evidence doesn't really match. Huh? Disfigured. After the incident at the cliff, right? Yes. Ooh! Ooh! Maybe? Poor guy. He was seriously injured and was all wrapped up in bandages to keep uh -huh. his good looks safe. Yeah. If that's the case, then he couldn't have made it through the gold hammer residence. Exactly. He couldn't. He would have been system. killed. That would suggest that Zhongshan is exactly. not the murderer. Exactly. Zhongshan's not the murderer. Okay. This figured guy is, is innocent. So. Who exactly is the murderer? <laughs> left in? That guy lost his hand. He lost his left hand. Left on? That guy lost his hand. Be specific. L left hand. Um. Okay. We already used the resident security regulation. Left hand. Want to say the hammer? If it's really heavy. He's gonna have to use both because even Sample can't lift it in one hand. Exactly. Confirm. Based on the bailiff's statement, Lefton's dominant hand was seriously injured mm -hmm. to the point where he had to learn how to live using only his left hand. Exactly. Swinging that giant sledgehammer to murder someone. That must be hard for him. We does all of Probably them! Probably impossible. Lefton's suspicion level can be downgraded. Yeah. By process of elimination, it seems that only Wright could be the murderer. That was easy. Let's now hold up a second sample. Answer and see what he thinks. Now hold up a second sample. Let's make sure that the other dude is actually the murderer. Oh, we're not going to do that great. Okay. Because we are dealing with Sparkle, man. Okay, fine. Let's go to Constable. Please begin your investigation, Lady Waxwan. Mm -hmm. The murderer is right. <sighs> is it wrong? You have answered correctly. Oh, okay. As expected, you didn't disappoint Lady Black Swan. Game rules stipulate I must tell you where the next puzzle is. Huh? The next puzzle? I didn't sign up for this. Mm -hmm. Looks like the key to winning lies not in the puzzle itself, but in the motives behind Miss Sparkle's strange behavior. The TV creeps you out, Sam. I'm same. afraid this chase may just go on forever. Yep. Also, Chad, if you guys hear crunch, I'm just having my wings and they're super crunchy, so just so you know. I have to remind you that Sparkle is a masked fool? Do you plan on finding logic in the mind of a masked fool? That's exactly what I plan on doing. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just subjective, there must be an overall principle behind the behavior. Memories cannot lie. And hers may just understand more about her than she does herself. 
Right now, let's follow her train of thought and head to the next puzzle. I hope this time we can get ahead of the Bloodhound family. I want okay. to try and avoid using my memo keeper powers. Fair. Hurry to the scene of Sparkle's upcoming crime? Okay. Is there anything here, though, that I should keep an eye on? Nope. Let's go. So why are you so focused on Sparkle's challenge? Or should I ask, are you more focused on Sparkle anything here? herself? Fuck off, Sample. Or if that's your real fucking name. Sorry, that was aggressive chat. My bad. <laughs> I told you. It's purely out of a spirit of competitiveness. That was so aggressive. And as a memo keeper, I also have to fulfill my responsibilities and harvest some interesting memories. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> you did the same. I'm glad I'm not the only one. What the hell is this? Whoa! This place is a complete mess. And those two weirdos are probably here too. There's nobody else at the scene. Seems like Miss Sparkle used the same method to send dreamers back to reality. Mm-hmm. Let's talk to those two there then. Okay. Hello, Yaskar! Give me two push-up shoulders and arms. Ain't gonna sculpt themselves! I'm eating, I'm eating! But how are you? It's lovely to meet you. Welcome in. <laughs> so I've had it coming for a while, true. Black Swan got ass. Ah, I need to be respectful. Wait, need to see that. I know damn well you did not just notice this, because she does. She truly does. I, that's what I've been staring at this whole time since I got her. Memories seem to be different again. Look at it. Damn. Ah, you been new. Perfect. Perfect. Buddy, buddy tone, right? Just be yourself, come on, just be yourself. It's just, uh, admiring, right? You got curves, and I'm here for it. Oh, Detective Black Swan and Detective Seppo, you finally made it! We don't know what we'd do without your help. Why are you talking like that? Yeah. Is this some sort of artistic performance that young people are into these days? Is there something wrong with the way we are talking? Deputy Sheriff, am I talking in a strange way? Oh, of course not, Sheriff. The way you talk is no stranger than the cat that climbs the apple tree in my grandma's backyard. Huh. Oh my god. Skip this time is a modernist one. Cisco, if that happens, I I would swipe until I got her. Yeah. Yeah. That would probably be what would like let, make me actually swipe on Nikkei. Is the rainbow giving tears of Themis? She's so beautiful, Leo. Yeah, for real. Mother! Let's discuss this difficult case then. The victim is a galactic business magnate named Sparkle. Her again? Sparkle really is obsessed with scripting her own death. Yep. Yep, yep. Oh, for the life Grid. Of, if you undercut me one more time, I Ooh. swear I'm gonna kick you in the butt. Do it, do it, do Damn. it. He deserves it. Miss Sparkle came to the fashion store to buy herself a brand new tie. She didn't come back out. Okay. After a long time, the shopkeeper went in to see what was going on, but instead discovered Miss Sparkle's body. She had been strangled to death. Ooh. There were three suspects on the scene, namely a Papeshi shopkeeper named Wright, a Not right again. gambler named Zhang Shen, and a again? Teletron trader called the Leftin. Oh my god. Our old friends. Yeah, our old friends. It's not just to aid your memory. We've added more descriptions to help tell them apart. Miss Sparkle is so gracious. 
Based on surveillance footage, witness testimony, and various pieces of evidence, the killer is ultimately among these three. And they were not Right? Again, yeah, again. You're too lazy to be a suspect, right? <laughs> oh, for the laughter. If I talk any more with you, it'll make my pure soul filthy. Damn. Detective Black. Oh, God. The dossiers are over here. You can learn more about the suspects from me. I trust you'll be able to cut through the hogwash and find out who Miss Sparkles is. Holy killer. shit. Okay. You tell him, Robo. I deputy sheriff. Okay. Next survey for Nikkei going to add. Please call up with HSR, right? For real. That's where you would break your free to play status on Nikkei as well. Yeah. Hi, Hex. How's it going? How are you, Hex? Bronia and Black Swan and Nikkei. Hmm. I can see Bronia and Rappi having good conversation. Yeah, I can see that as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Let me introduce the identities of these suspects to you. It's very straightforward. Okay. First of all, is the shopkeeper right? He's one of the Papashi people and only stands as tall as Sparkle's waist, which is often a source of teasing for him. He can get pretty salty about it. So he's short. Not to mention Sparkle is short as well. And he's up to Sparkle's waist? Okay. Next up, you have the merchant Lepton. He wants to join up with the Penaconi Trading Guild and is in direct competition with Miss Sparkle. That could be a motive mm. for killing her. Mm hmm. Okay, Lepton. Finally, there is the gambler Zhang Shan. He lost a bet to Miss Sparkle and he had to hand over his family heirloom. Oh. It's possible he harbored a grudge against her. That's all the information we have. Do you need me to repeat it? No, no, that won't be necessary. That won't be necessary. I remember it all. Okay. While you're experiencing this dreamscape, you can re-examine the details of the puzzle whenever you wish. This seems to be a convenient feature prepared by Dr. Edward. He's so nice. Okay. Investigate the evidence of the crime scene. Let's go. And there's the tie. That skit before said that the deceased was strangled. Is this tie some kind of joke murder weapon? The tag on the tie reads, only for Imperial Master Lefton. Seems like it's one of Miss Sparkle's personal <clears> belongings. <throat> Just finished on a biz challenge? Hey, let's go. That's not how you use the word Puppy. Imperial. Okay, so, what do you say? A couture tie, the label says, for Master Lefton's use only. Okay. There's an accounting book lying on the ground. It must have been specially placed there by Sparkle. On the title page is written, Chen Katong. Is that someone's name? <gasps> A code name. Oh, I think it's the name of the owner of this book. Hmm. This Chen Katong person should be Sparkle's targeted victim this time around. Right. The account book of the rich merchant Xian Ketong. For a merchant, it is probably something second only in importance to money. Sparkle probably left it at the crime scene to prove that she really did assault someone. Alright, what's the next one? Oh, over there. Oh, we have to be Hanu again? Let's go. So, it's just like the first case then. Only two pieces of evidence. The mm -hmm. rest hidden inside her memories again. Right? Yep. Oh, Doesn't there she want goes. To distract your investigation. She doesn't want to distract our investigation. <laughs> what a law abiding citizen this stop, sparkle is. Stop, stop. Why doesn't she surrender then? Oh my god. It's time to be Hanu. It's morphin time. I love these puzzles so much with Hanu. God damn it.
I shouldn't love this little, this little guy so much. I truly shouldn't. Go. Okay, so. We've got... That's a lot of places. Okay, let's... Let go this way. Oh, I can't. After being shrimp, I can't go that way. I think... Oh, I gotta use that. I have to go around then. Okay. I have to go around. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. Can I go there? No? What the fuck? Hey. He just wants to slap the grin off samples. I truly do. I truly, truly do. Go this way? Ah, this way. Okay. Might have to switch before I do. We just got trolled, didn't we? I feel like we did. I think we did. Let's see. Jazz. Okay, what do I need to break? If you want me to change to you. Oh, investigate. A little stool that seems quite normal. There are two small footprints drawn on it in crayon. <laughs> the footprints, which are half as big as standard, must belong to a Papeshi person. Yeah, the the one Perhaps that gets salty about his height. that this person's drawing skills are extraordinary. But it's drawn in, though, yeah. That's the only issue here. They're drawn in. A small stool with two small footprints drawn on it using a crayon, indicating it once belonged to Papeshi Worker. This is perhaps the most crude out of all the evidence Miss Sparkle had fallen from her pedestal. Okay. Let's see. I can change you again. I have to go up, don't I? Gotta go that way. That allows me to go up there, probably. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Ah, I need to go up there for that puzzle, so I need to be on you there. Okay. Am I missing anything here before I go down these stairs? No. Let's go this way. And that's for Hanu as well. Okay, let's go with this. What's Have a good night, Brimp! Oh. Why is there a smoke red herring there? All good, yet to see all good. Mr. Sampo, take a look. This is a wonderful smoked red herring. Mm hmm. <laughs> Somebody save me from this cringe joke. Oh my god. Even among the fools I know, Miss Sparkle's sense of humor stands out from the rest. Have you dealt with many masked fools before? No, only a handful. After all, I prefer warm memories baked in They're sunshine. They're fucking memesters. They really are. They truly are memesters. I They're love them. They're the ones that usually belong to kind people. Oh, goddamn. Okay. I'm ready. I, I feel like I'm going to get memed here. This evidence is obviously something comical Sparkle made. To avoid you thinking that you wasted time investigating this useless evidence, Here's a recipe. Oh, goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Smoke the red herring or any other type of preserved fish until it turns golden on both sides. Place it into a place it into a dish. Remove all bones. Then crush the meat. Add raw eggs into the frying pan and fry it until well done. <laughs> then add vegetables, vegetables you like and fry that too. Then add in the crushed smoked red herring and day old rice add some salt be very careful with how much you put in there are already preserved fish in it stir fry evenly and then plate and viola here's a smoked red herring fried rice you're welcome fucking kid <laughs> this is so meta <laughs> oh my god voila voila if someone has made this i kind of hope that someone did go ahead and, and do this I hope someone does this recipe. I truly do. The god, they they truly are memesters. I love them. All right, so anything else here before I turn into Hanu again? No. All right, anything here? Okay, let's go. Try it and let us know. Yes. Morphin time. Okay, let's do this. We doing a cooking stream. Okay, uh, let's do this, because we have to go. Let me see where you take me. Teleport. Okay. 
Oh, escape velocity reached? What the heck is this? Oh, I can't check it here. Damn. I'm hungry now. Take notes! Take notes! Okay. And there's what we need to do. It's a puzzle, most likely. This Repair. clock is... Open it up and take a look. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, let's see. Uh, we need to go over here. So if I do this... There you go, buddy. Nice. Okay, we need to get you over here. There you go. Perfect. Nice. Hell yeah. Awaken. Oh, there's a Ooh. ring inside. This is evidence too. Why was it planted inside another device? Yeah, what the hell? Because this ring was found inside the victim's mouth. We want uh. to reconstruct the scene of the crime. I'm sorry, this was found in his mouth? In the victim's mouth. Hey, there's something engraved inside the ring. John Sean Family Heirloom. Oh, shit. That should be it. Let's head out. We need Tanda to make it then. I have to thank you, Mr. Assistant Detective. But the puzzle this time is pretty strange. Mm-hmm. Have you found out who the killer is? Just some shallow intuition. Anyway, let's report back to the sheriff for now. Okay. Figure out the answer to the puzzle. Oh, for the laughter! You think <laughs> I'd be seeing Detective Black Swan so soon? Was that? You found out who the killer is? Pretty much. You live up to your reputation, Detective Black Swan. As smart as the nest of magpies roosting in the roof of my Uncle Frank's garage. Uh, this guy is mixing up his birds here. Then go ahead. Who is the killer? And what evidence do you have to prove the case? Identify the murderer. Do not identify the murderer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. If I think again, will it show me options again? Don't no? worry. Let me think again. Then please hurry up with it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's not like the other puzzle. Okay. Fuck it, we ball. Oh, for the laughter. Pretty much. You live up to your reputation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then Mixing up the birds. Who is I identify. Good. Let's see. Then let us appreciate your powers of deduction. Okay. Oh, here we go. Nice. This is what I wanted. Okay. So, Zhongshan. Oh my god! Right! You truly are- Oh, no wonder it said your sparkles waist height. Okay. And he's crying. Hmm. Have you solved the case? This guy, Zhongshan, is a card shark who used to play Get the Koi with Miss Sparkle. He uh -huh. gambled away his entire family fortune. Okay, and his ring. Well, we don't know if it was his ring, but it said it belonged to, you know, the the family for Zhongshou. It was found in the victim's mouth. This Zhongshou is a card shark who used to play Get the Koi with Miss Sparkle. He gambled away his entire family fortune. What skill issue this guy has? Stop! Oh my god. All right, let me read these. For a merchant, it's probably something second only to importance of money. Sparkle probably left at the scene of crime. This is what? The account book of rich merchant Xian Kitong. That's Zhong Shong, though. Oh, give me a sec, chat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. Was, was it a butt dial? My phone just started ringing. What the fuck? I'm assuming it was a butt dial. Alright, I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> yeah, I'll wait, I'll wait. Let's see. I should call them back though, but let me see. Uh, okay. Okay, maybe not that. No, definitely not that. 
A small stool with two small footprints drawn on it using a crayon. Indicating it once belonged to a Papeshi worker. I don't think so. The words Jonathan's heirlooms are caved on its side, but they're talking about gambling here. Mainly get the koi. Is the recipe. I want to say this, but this it might be wrong. This ring is a piece of evidence, right? That's right! Mm -hmm. That's the one! What would a penniless wretch Yeah, it did end, uh, Hex. It ended on Tuesday. I will slowly because get to working on getting all the subathon goals it. out there for you guys. Okay. He'd stolen left his but dollars. It's actually a friend that's calling. A work friend, too. I wanna, that's why I want to call him back if, something up, if it's something so up with work he or something. Into the changing room and tried to get back his ring. Mm hmm. Wait, he stole and left on his tie and was just about to get away when he saw Miss Sparkle. The one he'd stolen his family fortune with him, from him. So he darted into the changing room and tried to get back his ring. Who could have known that Miss Sparkle would end up swallowing that ring? Jesus. All Zhang Shan could do was use the tie in his hand to try and strap down her neck to prevent her from swallowing the ring. Jesus. And he unexpectedly managed to strangle Miss Sparkle to death. That's, uh, that's kind of drastic to stop from someone swallowing a ring. I'm sorry? Oh my god. That was somebody last Frida. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Oh my god. Okay. I just want to submit the red herring. That's drastic as hell. Strap down her neck to prevent her from swallowing the ring. But he unexpectedly managed to strangle Miss Sparkle to death. Of course you did! A tragedy. If it weren't for your incisive detective work, the murderer would still be at large. Uh, is something wrong here? This is too easy. The first yeah. case wasn't hard, but this one. Yeah. As you can imagine, I didn't the even conclusions talk that to the, the evidence ones. points to are not mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. Which means, this is probably another prank from Miss Sparkle. Mr. Assistant Detective, please feel free to point out a suspect as the murderer. Ah, oh, I see. Sheriff, the murderer is Lefton. The evidence is the tie, right? Correct, Detective Sampo. I never thought you'd be able to deduce the truth. Damn. Sheriff, the murderer is right. The evidence is the stool, right? Yes. But yeah, there it is. How did I fail to this They're saying yes to everything. Of yours. Okay. Dead. Right from the start, there was no mm -hmm. murderer. The evidence is the ring. Whatever, I'm just spitballing here. I... Goodness me. Deputy Sheriff, is he uh -huh. really a genius? How could such an unfathomable mystery be solved so easily by him? Mm-hmm. Oh. Look, Miss Sparkle has given us a puzzle where every single answer is correct. Yep. I take it so seriously. Miss Sparkle is a masked fool, not a masked genius. If it's a challenging puzzle you want, please go out there and turn right until you get to the Intelligentsia Guild. We're only responsible for providing an entertaining detective experience. Mm. Anyway, since our genius detective Black Swan has cracked the case, I will now share Miss Sparkle's next puzzle with you. Uh, so that's it? This is just going to go on, I'm just on and a loop. on forever? I'm just on a loop, we exactly. Can't do that. Hmm. Then I wish you both the best. Oh, yes, if you're not in a hurry, I can tell you the answers for some of the outcomes you never chose. Hurry to the Xeno Sparkle's upcoming crime. Girl. Girl. I'm kind of curious of what they're going to say. Hold on. Detective Black Swan, would you like to hear about the other answers that you didn't get? They're all going to say correct, isn't it? Sure. Well, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Seeing as you put so much work into everything. The way she's talking, though. So much work into everything. The murderer is left on. Lefton it's the same is a wealthy thing. merchant who has been competing with Miss Sparkle for decades. They're always at each other's throats. Another puzzle! Alright, Lefton is a wealthy merchant who has been competing with Miss Sparkle for decades. They're always at each other's throats. 
The tie. This tie is a piece of evidence, right? I want to see what the red herring gets right. me. That's the one. Uh huh. This tie belongs to Lefton, and it just so happens to be the murder weapon in this case. Uh huh. Could the evidence be any more solid than this? Lefton snuck into the changing room and waited for poor Miss Sparkle to enter before using this very tie to brutally kill her. Jesus. And then he stuffed Zhang Shan's ring into her mouth as a way to try and frame him. Damn. What a tragedy. If it weren't for your incisive <laughs> detective work, the murderer would still be at large. I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is even worse than a soap opera, a novella. The murder is Zong Shong. Give me whoever I can give in the, the red herring to. Alright, we got the, the ring here. Kinda wanna see what happens if I give this. It's probably wrong. It won't probably it most likely won't let me. I knew it. Damn it! Nothing. Okay. I thought there was an answer for every single permutation. Uh-huh. Don't go too far. Miss Sparkle will get tired. Mm. This guy, Zhang Shan, is a card sharp. All right, we've done this one. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. okay. This Give me this. ring is a piece of evidence. That's we got right. the answer for this that already. I want to see who the takes the red herring. We got this. Tie and was just about to get away when he saw Miss Sparkle, the one who had stolen his family fortune from him. So he darted into the changing room and tried to get back his ring. Mm -hmm. Who could have known that Miss Sparkle would end up swallowing that ring? All Zhang Shan could do. Okay, yeah, we got this. Give me the other dude. Uh, the murder is right. Right is a Papeshi citizen, and Miss Sparkle the little guy. was a monkey bigot, always laughing at his height. Damn. Uh, where is it? The bar stool one? Yeah, right stool. Small stool that had the the footprints drawn use, use, by using crayon. Let's this see. This stool is a piece of evidence, right? What are they going to bring up with this? That's right. That's the one. Miss Sparkle always teased poor Wright until he was unable to take it any longer. Eventually, murderous intent was born. Taking advantage of his position, he stole Lefton's tie and told Miss Sparkle, mm -hmm. Miss, please come with me to the changing room. I'd like to show you a matching tie. Uh. Miss Sparkle never thought Wright would retaliate against her. So she went back with him to the changing room. As Why Wright would you stood mm. atop the stool and helped Miss Sparkle try on the tie as usual. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He then suddenly pulled it tight. <laughs> and that's how he killed Miss Sparkle. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing, Hex. I think this is my favorite one. So the fact that he took the stool, stood on the stool to act like she was, he was going to put the damn tie on and then just did that. Pulled it tight. That's so dumb, but I love it. What a tragedy. If it weren't for your incisive detective work, the murderer would still be at large. Oh my god. There's no murder what at all. What do you mean by that? Give, I just want to give the red herring, please. Hmm? Damn it! Nothing. Fuck. Oh, don't go too far. Fine. What Get the book. Get the book. Yeah. <laughs> no? Bitch. So we can't give in the red herring at all? This some bullshit. I wanted to see. Ah. Uh, watch it not be anything. This tie is a piece of evidence, right? That's right. That's Miss Sparkle stole Lefton's tie to see if it would fit her. But who knew that Lefton had an anti-theft device installed on it? After Miss Sparkle affixed the tie to her neck, it rapidly contracted, thereby strangling the poor lady. She tried swallowing her ring to preserve her breathing passage. Oh my god. Unfortunately, she was beyond saving. Damn. What a tragedy. If it weren't for your incisive detective work, what a tragedy! We would all be facing grave injustice. Hi, King. My my, that's some mortuary level crime. Hi, King. How's it going? I'm sorry, but I like how we both did the same thing. I also tried giving the. I wanted to give him the fish. Damn it! It won't let me. Damn. They said no. You don't. Stop I'd playing not now. Play around. We don't have very much time. Guess the red herring is just a red herring smoked. Yup. <laughs> Okay, next puzzle. Here it is. Just as you said, 
Solving puzzles is all just a cover for something else. That girl is toying with us. Yep, what she is. We do now? Just keep it's a literal lit red herring. Yep. Truly, Miss Sparkle is a fascinating person. She seems chaotic inside, but easy enough to understand. Like a performer on the stage or a child hungering for attention. Damn, you this called her a child hunger soon. for attention. Damn. This time, That's wild. We're going to catch her. Damn. Girl, you just dragged her. You just dragged her and I love it. Legit says she's just a child wanting attention. I get it. I get it, man. <laughs> I'm loving this all same. It's like, oh, I haven't done this. I think I saw someone say that there's an achievement for not doing this and collecting how many uh, tokens? I need to check how many. Miss cooked. Black Swan, cooked. Mr. You cooked her. Sappho, you're finally here. I am the famed detective of Panacone. And next to me here is my assistant detective. Okay. 77? Okay, I need to purchase them. We have to purchase it from the, the guy that's stirring up a rainbow, right? They should have had it that if you pick the red herring for when there was no murderer, she just choked while snacking on it. Right? Imagine. Yeah, okay, okay. Once I'm done with this uh, dialogue, I want to find the guy. A get it. In a locked room has left us all stumped. And that's weekly, right? As expected, another change in setting. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's not an auto. Yesterday, my assistant and I were visiting the famed artist, Miss Sparkle, and we stayed the night. But this morning, Miss Sparkle didn't come out of her bedroom. The butler, Jean Chen, said that the door was the locked The same names, inside, okay. So we ought not to have disturbed her. But Miss okay. Sparkle had never slept in so late. And no matter how hard he knocked, there was no answer from inside. As soon as I heard, I knew something must have happened. So I acted decisively and broke the door down to get inside. Mm -hmm. The room was covered in spattered blood. Miss Sparkle's Damn. body was lying right in the middle, her face white as snow. One look told me she'd been dead for some time. Damn. Thinking okay. Quickly, I grabbed the artist's canvas to staunch Miss Sparkle's blood, but... Alas, poor Miss Sparkle. She's left us now forever. Besides us and Zhang Shan, the butler, left and the cook and right the driver were also at the scene of the crime. <sighs> what would you like to do? Presumably, Miss Sparkle is now carefully arranging the next crime scene, right? Right. Why don't you skip all this rigmarole and just... Have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me. It might tickle a little. Ooh. Ooh. Wait up! Wait up! Hmm. Honest kid. I know where you are, Miss Sparkle. Oh, Black Swan, I love you. No cheating! No cheating! No, let her be! Let her cook! Oh, Mr. Assistant Detective. Uh-huh. You seem to be getting anxious. I'm calling it, uh-huh. Why are you getting anxious for, buddy? Because you're not simple, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hi, Hippo, how you doing? Uh, uh, no. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> this locked room murder case is pretty fun. <laughs> I, I want to guess who it was. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right, right. Okay, buddy. No, no. I called it from the beginning. Mm-hmm. You fight us D&D just a seconds ago? Let's go. I hope you had fun. Let's go. Can't keep a girl waiting, can we? Don't make, don't make Black Swan wait. Come on now. Hey, Miss Black Swan, wait up, wait, wait up. up. Miss Sparkle has one, one final message to announce. Uh-huh, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. ding a -ling. Oh, God. Now comes the most exciting and romantic moment Great. in any drama. The Iron's <laughs> Challenge. Everyone knows that the mighty masked force oh, she looks so good. change her appearance to look like others. Goodbye. And in this drama, the villain Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Uh -huh. So then, I put to you, which character is it? 
Also, if you're interested in the locked room case that the memo keeper ignored, you can try oh out your God. powers of deduction. I put lots into coming up with a puzzle, so don't let it go to waste. Maybe I want to. Don't tell me what to do, Sparkle. The mass genius Miss Sparkle has thrown down the gauntlet. All the clues are in motion. Happy hunting! <laughs> I fucking can't! Oh my god! Damn! Oh, I dropped this. Oopsie. Hold on. There we go. They just broke the... F yeah, they broke the fourth wall there! Oh, they truly did! Thank you for the follow a cheese sandwich! Ooh, a cheese sandwich sounds good right now. But welcome, welcome! It's lovely to meet you! Uh, let me see. What did I miss? Hi, Sol. Let us see. How's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? I saw that. Oh, I hope you had fun, though, hippo. Was it fun, at least? <laughs> the mustache is back again. I feel robbed. Give me black swan under the spotlight. Not this bitch. Thank you. Nasty. Thank you. You get it, Nieta. You get it. Hi, Light. How you doing? How's it going, Light? Sparkle, I need her. The mustache is back. It is. Yeah, I believe they are. They look very similar, Nolly. Oh my god, I like how they just- Yeah, they broke that fourth wall. I love when they do shit like this. And come to- Come to- Yeah, now that I'm remembering, it's not the first time either, because Sampo, the real Sampo, broke the fourth wall in, uh, was it Bellabog? Yeah, Bellabog. And now we have uh, Sparkle doing the same thing. So far, it's the Mass Fools that does this. Yeah. I was like, hey, player, how are you? Cheese sandwich. Got E1 Black Zone for Valentine's Day. Let's go! Hell yeah! You're free? Hell yeah, you're free from work. Now you have the weekend off. Nice! Get some rest, Slate. I know you've been working hard. Get some rest if you can. And enjoy that weekend off, for real. I tried to use the gamma machine. Wouldn't let me from inside the question. Mm -hmm. Memories. Will it let me purchase the tokens, though? Hold on. Did you have Ooh. Did Giovanni ever do... Yeah, did Giovanni in that event break the fourth wall, guys? Does anyone remember? I don't... Oh, he's not here. Shit, so he won't mi let me purchase him. Okay, damn, that sucks. Yeah, I'm in a different... Yeah, I'm in a different quest. Yeah, I'm a different version of this. Okay, we have to come back and get that. Someone remind me, please, later on once we're done with all of this. Yeah, the rainbow puking dude is not here. Miss, Fuck. Why didn't you just this do this sheet. earlier? Such a crude Gotta start approach violates okay, okay. my aesthetics of memory. But as a means to an end, I need to put this aside for a more indifferent process. Ooh, is the player aha uh -huh all along? Mm -hmm. No clue. But that's a good question. At least I don't know if Giovanni did that or not. I can't remember. You made your rainbow puker angry, so he stopped pu- Wait, you can do that? Fuck, now I want to make him angry. Okay, okay, that is that is something to do right after the quest. Gotcha. I did not know that was an option. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, we're in a different range because everything's blocked off. Okay, I see. Gotta go that way. Okay, let's go. I don't think he ever did. Yeah, no, I don't think so either. Let's go. Oh, great. Great. There's no weird sweet dreams troop. Oh Nor my is God. there the music is killing me. The place. We finally caught up with her. Uh, but what's that thing? A Bella Boggian trash can? Yeah. In Penacony? Yeah. Hey. Dear Mama, Jesus Mr. Christ. You made it. Mm-hmm. Giovanni was too NPC for me to remember. We can't sample Giovanni at the end converses at the breaking. Yeah, the conversation. You're right. Hi, Afro Thunder. I'm High Pages Star. Has given me so much love and given me not just Black Swan, but also her like. Oh, let's go. Congratulations. Hell yeah. Not the trash can. I didn't let's see. expect you to skip the final puzzle. That's uh -huh. okay. All right, all right. Miss Sparkle cares not for the faults of ants like me. Come then, this is the final question. Listen up. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, what the fuck? and three legs at night? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm getting a riddle now? Okay, hold up, hold up. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? What the fuck? No murder case this time around. Yo, mom, Sparrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Nieta. <laughs> oh my god. Sometimes it's nice to take things easy. Come on, dear. That's... Give me your answer Damn. then. Damn. Wait, wait, wait. A sweet dreams trope. A trash can? Wait, the puzzle was. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I read logs? Yes, I can. Okay. People, bugs, sweet dreams, tropes, and a trash can? Okay. Uh, okay, what creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? My options are... People. See, my ass wanted to get all degen, but I'm not going to get into that. Sorry. Bugs, sweet dreams trope, and a trash can. I kind of want to say a trash can because it's right in, smack in front of me. The classic. The classic. Listen, 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 listen. I've never heard this riddle before. I've never heard of it. Hi, Octavia. This is Sentient Illumino Trash Can. <laughs> what did I come into? Into a fever dream, Octavia into a fever dream. But oh, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Hi, Ryoku. People, because DJ answers. Yeah. I, I, you know what? Fuck it. What's the, the riddle is? Hold on. Okay, I've never heard of this riddle. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? Should I be disgusted? Maybe. <laughs> I never heard of this riddle. I never heard of this riddle. To be fair, guys, I, I mostly grew up with Spanish. Remember this. Oh. Speaking of Spanish, there's the phone call. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's the bud dial. Hold on. Alright, sorry, sorry. Hi, Corrosion! Wait, what did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, I heard a different version of... Oh, you heard a different version of this. But that, no, that... Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just returned the call, yeah. I feel like they didn't even know that they butt dialed me. Maybe they wanted to call me early, but they didn't. Ancient and very well known. It's always being used. But I've never heard of it, guys. Remember, like I said, I, I mostly grew up with Spanish. Mostly grew up with Spanish, so I'd never heard of that. It would be. Yeah, I'm thinking people mainly because, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna get into that. <laughs> not gonna get into that. But yeah, but the riddle is, what creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? My DJ thinking ass is going to the three legs at night. I won't say any more than that. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I'm sorry, Jet. Okay? <laughs> I will leave it at that, okay? I will leave it at that. <laughs> it jumped off my water. <laughs> What's up in time out? <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? The DJ thought, listen, listen. Am I wrong to even think this, okay? The fact that my mind went straight to that is bad. It's bad. Oh my god. Oh, but it's 3,000 no. years old, Haji Sandwich. No, no. Oh my god, listen, I, ha I had to. I had to, okay? <laughs> oh, that's like that. Listen, listen. They don't. <laughs> You're really gonna make me go into details with this, aren't you? I guess. <laughs> listen. 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 Get me out of the jar. Get me out of the jar. I just realized y'all put me in the jar. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> listen. They never said, you know, the, 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 the length of the leg. 
They never said anything! <laughs> Bong the streamer? Catch a bat, you said you're bad. I'm sorry. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you say the answer of the virgin had notes. In case it's similar, we would have been. Oh my god. But I'ma say people because of my DJ thought. But me just being sussy. Bessie weather that you see. <laughs> you know what it is? Maybe it's because my Spanish jazz is remembering something about like a saying that's kind of similar to that. <laughs> and it's just in its fucking degen as well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say people for the degen thought, but it kind of does. It kind of does. I bet you guys missed when I was in my innocent days, huh? Some of y'all weren't there when I started when it was baby streamer. I was very innocent. I blame. I blame a, a few. I blame a few for bringing out the Dijin out of me. Though the Dijin was already there, just well hidden. Well hidden. <laughs> what did she even say? <laughs> this is what I said. Be okay. The fuck were you so innocent back in the day? Listen, I was never innocent. I was the quiet one. But they always said, keep an eye on the quiet ones. All right. Not me. Stay safe, though. Oh my god. DJ there's nothing new. Oh my god. You mean you pretended to be innocent, right? Mm-hmm. I can't imagine seeing yes as sweet as it is. <laughs> oh my god. You got unquiet so quick with a bit of prompting. Yeah. 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 Oh, my wholesome Christian. No. <laughs> Face luck. Not my wholesome Christian stream. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, what I said was this. I'm still picking people though. What creature has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? I said personally, I was thinking three legs at night, but not because of that specifically. <laughs> Since it's a classic puzzle, the answer is people. people right? Oh, I got it right because my DJ and thoughts. Let's go. <laughs> oh, bitch. <Wrong> answer. <laughs> How could it be as boring as that? Bitch. The correct answer is. Ah, fuck sparkle. you, Sparkle. How did. What? The fuck? Listen, DJ supremacy. Okay, what's. Okay, guys. What's the actual answer? Because this bitch is not going to give me the answer. She's saying it's her name. Sparkle. DJ Supremacy! I'm gonna Google this, hold on. <clears throat> it was people? People is the answer to the original puzzle? Okay. Why is it people? Wait. Oh. Oh, oh. They're not going with time. Yeah, okay, there it is, yeah. People is the answer, four legs as a baby, two in middle age, walking stick makes three at night, there it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. All right, thank you, chat, thank you. Sparkle can shape, true, she can shape shift. That would make sense. When sleepy in the morning, she can't get out of bed. She runs about all afternoon in a bluster, <laughs> so is exhausted by evening. Has to yeah, in the morning, after the night of their lives. Poor Sparkle. What the fuck? When sleepy in the morning, she can't get out of bed, so she's crawling her way to her bathroom or whatever. She runs about all afternoon in a fluster, so is exhausted by evening, but has to still raise a hand to hold a toothbrush. I fucking can't. With her. I can't with her. And three legs at night. I can't with this girl. What the heck was that jibber jabber? For once, I agree with you there. What a cute answer. Oh my god. Thanks for the compliment, my dear. Don't you, my and dear, my girl? Me, seeing as you just tried to cheat. Wrong answer. Accept your punishment. What, you gonna fight me? Why does this trash can have all hate them arms? They kind of buff. You right. There's the fight. 
<laughs> Can I eat her to the moon now? Oh, you don't want none of this. I, I got a freshly E1 black swan, sweetie. You don't want none of this. I'm sorry. Uh-uh. kill them all. Uh-uh. You want none of this. Stand still. Some value, I suppose. Oh, let's do this. Memories are Do that. The water lies in the endless abyss. Lived it on auto didn't it? Oh my god, stencils. Uh, uh do this. There you go. It's the fact that you bow before you leave. Huh. Holy smokes! What's up with this guy? He just came out swinging from nowhere. Oh my god. I'm long past the fight. I got to see my hot mamas and hua hua. Yeah, they're babysitting hua hua at this point. Which gnosis makes some people look cool and others sleepy? Cryo? Wait, no. No. The hypnosis. Amelia, I swear to God. <laughs> Amelia! Oh my God! That was actually good though. I can't even deny that. Yeah. That was good. That was a good one. I didn't even think of that. Oh my God! It's funny that Adolon's and Xander don't even matter when fighting trend. That's true. He was best easy way to also play Genshin at the same time. Oh my God. More please! Damn it. Huh? No voices? <sighs> this guy's Did you even expect quiet. this is true? Miss, let's hurry up. Flip open the lid and find the girl. Wait. Don't move. Don't move? Something's off. Oh? Oh, shit. Uh, uh, Miss, you... You killed Sparkle! Bitch, you ain't dead. You're oh, not dead. How is this possible? Mm -mm. How can people mm -mm. die inside Petticone's uh -uh. dreamscape? Nah, she ain't dead. In the Garden of Recollection. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What did you do? I mean, slaying good, right, right. But like, she ain't dead. You girl, you still got a banner up coming. <laughs> you got an appearance soon. Y'all are celebrating. Holy shit! A body has been discovered. Queen shit! Oh my god. I just want to say I lost my shit here because this is a De Degarabba reference. Oh my god. <sighs> you did this, didn't you? Killing people in their dreams. Only the remembrance has the powers to do that. You planned it out all from the start because she teased you and was pranking you. You wanted to kill her. Okay. Okay. She ain't dead. She ain't dead. Pretty corpse? Oh my god. <laughs> light! Light! I can't watch this, but nice thighs? Damn. Not, not wrong, not wrong. Avert your eyes, avert your eyes! I like how I've got some of y'all just happy and cheering that she is supposedly dead, and then some of y'all are just staring at the, at the thighs and stuff and just shrimping. I've got a divided chat right now, holy crap. Deserve that. The evil is defeated. I don't like Sparkle. I'm not sorry. Am I the only one who doesn't hate Sparkle? No, I, I feel like it's very much divided here. Very much divided. There it is. Yeah, Fluffy. I know love Sparkle. Hi, Jake's Powder Pow Pow. How can be so pretty while pretend dead? There it is. The purple body. Oh my God. Can you blame us? Are you not looking at the thigh? Okay, okay. I will I will be honest. She's got nice thighs. Got very nice thighs. Alright. Oh, I understand. You refused to let me go because you wanted to drag me into all of this. If I don't agree. I'm doing good, I'll I'm doing up. good, Jigs. How are you? Just like she did. Okay. There is no death inside Penacone's dreamscape. Mm -hmm. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the harmony. Oh. Not oh. even a memo keeper can break this barrier. Mm. Rin, if she ended up doing that shit, I would have screamed. There's no need to take such great pains. <laughs> if you just want confirmation, 
I've already Bugs. told you the answer, Miss Sparkle. Bugs. Oh no, she's gone. I'm gonna get some popcorn to celebrate. I mean mourn. Damn. Yeah, you saying Firefly Roberts? See guys? See guys? My copium from the other day might not be wrong. We don't know. He might still be alive. She said that I was so interested. Yeah. Yeah. There's no death inside Penacone's dreamscape. That's the promise of the family and the blessing of the harmony. Not even a memo keeper can break this barrier. Y'all still want to say I'm coping? And she said that I was it. Jigs Powder, my mods already gave you a warning. Stop spamming the emotes. What is it is enough. But welcome, welcome, please. Otherwise, my mods will bonk. Not, not the copium. Not the copium. Not the copium. Yes, because I love teasing you. See what I mean? See what I mean? Hello, Abyss Void of... Uh, Abyssal Void of the Cats. As alive, she probably woke up scared. Yeah, scared as fuck. Scared as fuck. So there's hope, chat. There is hope that Firefly might still be alive. Yeah, no death inside Pentacone's dreamscape. We were in a dream. We have had to be. She was legit... Okay. This just reminded me of a meme I saw, but she legit turned into a puddle. And the meme I'm remembering is someone legit just drew the trailblazer looking at the puddle and saying, clean up at aisle four. Which is so bad. <laughs> there is always hope. Yup. Always hope. Maybe. Maybe. Into the quest, yes, and I'll tell you one thing. Okay, okay. When she, in, just in Xiaoji, oh my god. Why did she apologize? She Exactly, thank you. She also apologized saying, I'm sorry. I can't forget that. I want to know why she said, I'm sorry. So wait, there's no need to take such a great pains. If you just want confirmation, I've already told you the answer. Miss Sparkle. Okay, let's see. Miss Sparkle? Who are you talking to? To you! You. Thank you! You're fucking Sparkle. Stop playing around. Sparkle has disguised herself as another character. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that be you, Mr. Sampo? Exactly. This? Don't jump to conclusions! Bruh. Bruh, just, just give up, please. If you want to accuse me of being Sparkle, you have to provide the evidence. Oh, I'm afraid evidence is a little too hard to come by. So, deduction will do. Mm-hmm. The hint for the final question was a little too obvious. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean the locked room murder. <laughs> I thought you weren't doing that one. What are you mean? Stop. All the painstaking oh effort that Miss Sparkle put into it. How could I ever miss it? Mm -hmm. The key to solving the puzzle lay in two pieces of information put forward by the detectives. First, the large splatter of blood at the crime scene. Right. Second, <clears throat> the victim had been dead for some time. Right. Based on my shallow understanding, I can only draw two conclusions. One is that the murderer did not need to create a locked room case because a locked room always needs a reason to exist. Mm -hmm. But based on the detective's description, this locked room did not delay the discovery of the body. There was no third party at the crime scene to frame and right. the blood everywhere didn't look like a fake to suicide. That being so, the murderer seems to have no reason for creating a locked room. There is also reason to speculate that if the crime scene was a locked room, then its creator might not necessarily be the murderer. She's hella smart. For my second conclusion. It's even more <clears throat> obvious still. When everyone broke into the scene of the crime, why did the assistant rush off to staunch the blood? Mm-hmm. A trained professional was somehow happily destroying a crime scene just to save someone who's obviously been dead a while. Right. Yeah, we have to wait two months for copium. Exactly. <clears throat> Sorry. Temple, the only thing that's hard to come by are opportunities. The belt. Oh my god. No one day I was just confused by the choice of belt. Leave her be. She's a queen wearing that belt. She's rocking it. She's rocking it. Hi, Cal! Good morning! How are you doing, Cal? Happy time zones! The answer is simple. It's because the assistant detective 
is the murderer. Uh-huh. At the time, I was in such a hurry that I didn't hear the whole mystery. I tentatively speculated that the murderer had killed the victim the night before, but hadn't locked the door from the inside. And so, when he learned this piece of information, he realized that the victim had created their own locked room mystery. Mm -hmm. That's why he had to rush to the crime scene as soon as possible, to confirm whether or not the victim left any evidence implicating him. And, judging by his behavior, it probably had something to do with that canvas. Like right. Like some final words. Mm. Of course, this is just a simple mind game. The answer to the puzzle isn't important. Miss Barkle just wanted to pass on one hint to me. That the murderer is the assistant detective. Right. Which means it's you, Look at his face. Sambo. I've been using this term of address, but it was you who first came up with it. Mm-hmm. Look at his face, though. Look at his damn face. <laughs> Doing goodish, feeling a little sick, how's you? Oh no, I hope you feel better soon, Cal. Get some rest. Please, please, please. I hope you don't get, uh, you, you get, I hope you get a smooth recovery. Yeah, feel better soon. But I'm doing good, doing good. Doing Black Has Swan's companion quest. Has anyone ever told you that you're more like a detective <laughs> than a memo keeper? Uh-huh, Sparkle, keep talking. In my opinion, there is no difference between the two. Follow ripples along the surface of the water. Use some abilities and tricks to keep diving deeper and touch that secret deep inside people's hearts. Salvage it and protect them carefully. The truth does not lie. Neither do memories. Exquisite reasoning and very close to the truth. But I have another answer. Mm -hmm. Would you like to hear it? Have at it. Another answer? Have at it. The great artiste Sparkle locked mm -hmm. herself away in her bedroom using red paint to create the semblance of spattered blood everywhere. And that assistant detective who was first on the scene, who confirmed her death, was not the murderer, but rather an accomplice who assisted her in faking her own death. What a pity. Such a pity. Oh, God. My dear, you were so, 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 so close to the right answer. Unfortunately, the right answer is... <laughs> ah! I see why Nietzsche was so distracted and just looking at Black Swan's ass because damn... Guys, look at this curve. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at this curve. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they cooked with her. Yeah. They fucking cooked. Kenji would never. <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about? Ours? It's Black Swan, Cal. It's Black Swan. Hi, click me out. Hi, Rasta Parties! Like, damn! Those boobs and butt. Yup. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Miss Sparkle's body. Oh, goodness. Sparkle was disguised as Sparkle's body. Girl, you, you, you a little gone in the head, right? Ding a ling! I won! I can't with you. I can't. You're cute. You're cute, honestly. You're really cute, but no. Does Miss Sparkle's body even count as a real character? Why not? Miss Sparkle's body appeared in all three of those skits just then. Right. It's a little bit forced, but it's fine. So, who is this Mr. Sampo, then? Sparkle is so corny, I want to smack her face so bad. Beautiful lady, I already confessed everything to you earlier on. 
I really didn't know a thing. I just helped a friend send a letter. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's all. I don't believe you. You lie to your face. <laughs> you so lie to your face. I've been fool's errands this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you rewatched Spirit Away, that movie. Never, it never gets old, honestly. So true. Zampo really is here? I don't know. If it is oh, him, dear. I guess. Why Fine. So Still. Haven't you been having a great time? I have, at least. You take the memories, and I get joy. Don't they not get along? Well, he doesn't get along with her. Each other. Seeing as we're <clears throat> such kindred spirits, nah, nah, such loners. Don't you compare don't yourself you to Black Swan? Come and work with me. Ooh, we can dance ballet together. No, 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 no. Listen, bitch, no, no. Oh, am I understanding this correctly? A masked fool inviting me to work together. I'm gonna be honest, Chad. Hold on, she looks so pretty here. I need to take a screenshot. Wait! Oh, fuck, it went away. I'll get it in there. <laughs> is about to be staged in Panicone. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. Wait, what? Work with me. Okay. A show of unprecedented splendor is about to be staged in Panicone. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. Okay. If you want to appreciate this drama, you have to stand up under that spotlight. She got the Yoi Mia the bow in the back in on her back. Watch the dancing envelop you. Come with me. This is the best seat in the house. Now I get my screenshot. Hold up. This one looked better. She's just fucking. I love her eyes. Her eyes are fucking gorgeous. Damn. Let me save this chat. There we go. There we go. Okay. Rest in screenshot. No, I got it. I got it. You want to dance ballet with Sparkle? This is giving me Psycho Child versus Psycho Lado. Who you know it's going to be an epic battle. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Found light before name this showed up. We'll see. We'll see though. We'll see. Okay. I don't really understand why you're so fixated on destroying family barriers. But, as I said before, a memo keeper can't help you. Mm -hmm. It's frankly above my pay grade. Also, I don't consider you a loner. Oh, I don't mean him, but rather behind you. Behind you? The one who hired you to come to Panacone probably doesn't want you secretly linking up with other forces. Right? Mm hmm Right? Girl, I don't get paid enough for this. She told her. How did you She know? knows her worth. She knows her worth, and I love it. Emma was aimed just a nudge down. Right? I agree, Senzels. She's worth every cell. I, I agree. I love her so much. Memory is like the deep blue sea. But if you try to catch two fish with one cast, you might not be satisfied with your catch. Ooh. <laughs> so, you mean you're refusing? Oh, you don't like that, huh? Oh, shit. The fuck? Memo Keeper. Did you think you could just leave? And you think you're really gonna be able to make her stay? Okay. Okay. Why Girl. Not? Girl. Please. <laughs> My dear, I don't want to scare you. You'll know the answer sooner or later. We're just getting to know each other a little today. If you ever change your mind, come find me at the tavern. That is, if. You can find me. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I can't with her. A wooden dance with Sparkle for 10 grand. I just take the money. Our woman knows her worth. Exactly. I, I love that. I love it. Yeah, do you know what you're talking to? I will say this, chat. 
only thing I may li I do like the character. I do, because she's crazy. She's crazy. Well, I pull for her. I don't think so, because I don't really need her. I like her height. You know why? Booba height. Booba height. You see the booba? Booba height. Y'all know. Y'all know. <laughs> booba height. I love crazy women. Oh my god. Did she say she's above her pay grade? It's the opposite. Yeah. Yeah, she's booba height. She's booba height. I'm all for that. Let's go, Sam. Sampo? Oh. Sampo. Who is Sampo? What the fuck? What the fuck's happening? Who is some what? Uh this is this is Bellabog, right? Buddy, no, it's not. I said, why not? Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Did she? Oh my god, you're gonna make me fall all fall in love with you all over again, aren't you? You're gonna make me fall right. Mmm, okay, okay, do it, queen. <laughs> Don't worry. Such a crude approach violates my aesthetics of memory. So once you leave my sight, you'll be able to remember everything again. Oh shit. And also. Oh shit. Oh my she is so queen. I agree. She didn't even bat an eye. She didn't even bat an eye. She didn't. I think she did, V Strecken. I'm sorry. Temporary my block. My dream dance partner? I've already got sight <gasps> on someone else. Excuse me, chat. <clears throat> God damn. That wink, though. That wink. What? Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> Shit. That wink. It's me, by the way, sport girl. Girl! <laughs> I knew yes didn't lose it with this one. I love this so fucking much. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm sorry, my dear, my dream dance partner. I've already got sights on someone else. Ooh, and all honestly, I think it's... Yeah, I think the same thing, Nietzsche. So this is definitely something that happened beforehand. Before uh, Trailblazer got here. Damn. I don't think we're spraying or bonking the right person, Chad's farmers. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Viridis Ratio. How's it going? She's so queen for this. I love her. I adore her so much. I don't regret her at all. Fuck. Damn. What a special dream this has been. And did you notice its nested structure? Inside the dreamscape, it's as weird and captivating as being in a dream within a dream. Uh huh. Okay, Doctor Edward. Then you okay. I will. I will. I have to stream with Cal because I have to save them. I have them uh, posted. I got you. Are you satisfied with your experience? How fascinating! How boring! It was kind of easy. Sampler turned out to be how fascinating. I also found this dream so fascinating. You've gained joy from it. You've gained joy from it. <laughs> and Miss Black Swan surely also feels gratified. Yeah? Oh. So remember the conversation at the start of 2.0. We heard Sparkle say, why not join me? Oh shit. Why isn't this going? Jesus. Join me and Black Swan responds with that line of another dance partner. Yeah, it confirms that happened before. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kind of go for E1. Now, I went for E1 and she came home early, Kel, so do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. I send my luck. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, I, I got you, I got you, I got you. Uh, also, I like Sparkle because she's so real. For some of her lines, like, she basically told Adventure to go suck a dick, basically. Yup. Uh, please call me your darling. Please, please. Hey, what did he say? Uh, you've gained joy from it. You've gained joy, joy from it. And Miss Swan surely also feels gratified, yes? If we meet again, I will pass your esteemed praise on to her. Please do. Please do. 
Ah, I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to you. Yep. It's worth repeating that dreams are just dreams. And in Pentacle, dreams can be processed or even tempered. Oh, shit, right, right. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted. Let alone in someone else's dreamscape. If there's any information that you'd like to confirm, uh, please do so by the cold, hard life of reality. <sighs> Sweet dream. Damn. Oh my god. I love this woman so much. Holy shit. Oh. Really? I wouldn't do anything to her. Not the music. Um, ba -ba, ba -ba 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 -ba. Got the doctorate in slayology at the University of Servington. Exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. I do a cheeky temple. I can't go all out because Akron might be around the corner. This is true. This is true. Hey. Okay. Don't worry about that, memo keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked, as agreed. That's true. This music does fit the mood. You're right. You're right. Hi, that's exactly right. Oh. I'm still wondering if this is like a two-in-one companion quest or would Sparkle get her own? I'm feeling like it might be a two-for-one. Yeah, this does come off like as a two-for-one special for sure. Yeah. So he was here before we arrived. But then she took... Okay, let me continue Shouldn't before. Shouldn't you give see. my mask back to me now? Oh. Since when did the masked fools suddenly start respecting agreements? Oh, shit. <laughs> Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar. Third barrel on the left. You never saw me. I see what you guys mean about Sampo. I see what you guys mean. I see the V. The start of the V cut. Y'all see it, right? Right here? I see it right here! <laughs> I see it right there. <laughs> I see what you guys mean now. Yeah. Hey, Ella. I see it. I see it. Damn. Oh, my God. So, I guess he was not working with her voluntarily. Probably not, because at the end of the main story, we know it's not actually Sampo. It was, it was her. Be like, Nieta! My god! <laughs> the oh my god! Why is Sparkle an end? Those pants I want to drop. Jesus! Not wrong though. Look at her. Oh my god. Guys, guys. Go. Damn. 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 Any for when yes, would notice what comment said. Jesus Christ. But Sampo. After all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back the mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. For chat! Okay, so he was here before the actual main story quest. Okay. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to Yorello 6. <laughs> Am I right? Uh -huh. Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Sometimes even an old timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. Uh-huh. If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Girl, I don't believe you. I don't f believe you at all. Uh-uh. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Hmm. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. Okay, there's a mention of Giovanni. 
Fine, I'm just spitballing here. Don't take it so seriously. Hi, Omega! Tom himself said it, yeah. Why so serious? Okay. Where is it? Ah, uh, comment about that. Where is he? Don't worry about the meme of Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you. Yeah, he wants his mask back. Okay. Ah! Huh. What is actually happening there? Yeah, she's definitely lonely. No doubt. Constantly lies and deceives everyone. I value friendship. Why will no one partner up with me? Right? You wonder why. You wonder why no one wants to be around you. That would explain why she feels lonely, too. Jesus. Hi, Omega. I hope you're doing great. Yeah, it's the Giovanni from the Pokemon event. Yeah, the one we saw. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yesenia, there she is. Black Swan has sent you a message. I imagine you have already seen the dream bubble. Yes, I have. Relax. I just want to know if anyone has come looking for you yet. I'm sorry? Whoa, 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 whoa. Madam, madam, my queen, my love. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Someone's coming after me after seeing that dream bubble? Why? Uh, uh, Black Swan? Hello? Indeed. The memo keeper you know. Yes, I know. I oh my god, the little emoji. I'll make this simple. The fool named Sparkle is currently searching all over the place for that dream bubble. Oh my god. I Let me let her type because she's going to type. There it goes. Okay, okay place for that dream bubble. Okay, I do not know what her intentions are, but allowing it to slip into her hands will only make the situation more confusing. Yesenia, can you do me a favor and go reclaim that dream bubble? Of course, why don't you do it yourself? Why would I say this to my queen? No, of course. Anything for you, madam. Your attitude is reassuring. I will go with you. But I don't remember where that dream bubble was left. Can you remind me? It's sus, yeah. It's sus. If this little short stack skips up to you and roundhouse kicks you, would you be her friend? Hell no! Hell no! <laughs> Imagine I'm minding my business and then something, something comes up to me and you realize it's Sparkle. No! No! Uh-uh. Absolutely not. Hello, Miss Xavieri! Uh, it doesn't confirm we are just theorizing about the possible five-star sample with it. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't confirm it, but he wants his mask back. So, hmm, okay. Okay. This is sus, it is. She forgot, sus. I just realized, and there's question marks here. How could a member of Keeper forget a me- uh huh? Are you Black Swan? Hmm, you figured me out. Well, I'm not a true member keeper after all. Uh huh. This is Sparkle again. Fuck off! I can't believe you figured me out so quickly. How dull. Pranks are all about the back and forth. You've seen how much fun I have with that memo keeper. You should learn from her, young nameless. This is just the beginners. beginning. I'll be back. Bitch. Bring it on! Or please don't come back. <laughs> Oh my god! Bring it on! And then the whole, please don't come back. Just, just please, just stay away. Stay away from me. <laughs> Damn. Sparkle is great. I will say, her character is very interesting. Very interesting. Oh my god. How do you, can a memo keeper forget, right? How, a more crazy woman? Wanna play more games with Japanese? Harley Quinn, she does give off that Harley Quinn vibe. You're right. You told her to stay away? Okay, I'm gonna pick bring it on and then tell me what stay away says, okay? Or if you remember. Bring it on. Message. Uh, use it. What? Bitch. Bring, bring it on. We'll see who tricks whom next time. Was that the same thing when you said stay away? Oh, same thing happened? Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Let's go! That's so rude. Challenge to the reader. All the is this the kind of want to hear this one? Challenge to the reader. Okay. 
All right, all right. We done! Let's go! Is this truly Black Swan messaging me, though? I actually gotta go and get ready. Get ready! You got an hour? Go get ready, stencils. Go get ready. Have fun. The music video in HSR might explain a little on some pool? Wait, okay, but it depends, though, Cisco, because I, I can't separate the audio of the music video. And I cook at... Since I can't separate the audio, is it DM, DMCA safe? Hold on. Oh, shit. Wrong channel. Wrong channel. Wrong channel. Uh, oh, Funny Bone. Yeah, we saw Funny Bone. That right? That was from the... the um, What's it called? The Hoyo Creator. The Hoyo Creator. Hoyo Festival thing, right? Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Spro, can you be a potty again? Hoyo Fair. Yeah, it was in Hoyo Fair. Fan made thing, how would explain anything? Yeah, it was fan made. Yeah, we saw that. We saw that. It was fan made, though. Yeah. But they're, they, they're kind of like, yeah, it's not canon, but it was fan made. So we kind of like, I guess they had a feeling with something. It could hit the nail in the head a little bit, but not much of it. Like how they're making characters that are not necessarily like a little bit. I love that they're doing that because not every character has to be black or white in this game. That's why I love the Honkai series so much, guys. All right, is this really Black Swan though? Yes, Senya. I have a. Ima I imagine you have already seen the Dream Bubble. Relax. I just want to know if anyone has come looking for you yet. Okay, it is her. Black Swan memories are soft amber. Okay, what happened? I'm getting deja vu here. What happened? Oh, the creators were commissioned. Ooh, okay, so it is them. Okay, okay. You may also know that interesting young fool, Sparkle. She recently got into disguising herself as other people. Yesenia, has she tried this with you already? Wait, then you might be... I see you're on high alert. What would you have me to... What would you have me do to prove I am me? What do we want, Chad? A unique expression or unique action? Kind of want an action. I want an action. Imagine she sends me a boob pic like Kafka. A while ago. Imagine that, guys. Imagine. Right? An it's tanto, tanto, you get it. You, you get it, Tanto. Another Kafka selfie moment, right? Action. Yeah, action. Have her do an ara ara. <laughs> Cisco, yeah. Kafka did that. If there, when she uh, DMs you, you had to pick a specific uh, uh, option, and she legit sends you a selfie of her boobas. Of her boobas, it was amazing. It was amazing. Oh my god! Damn. I have an ara ara. Didn't I do the ara ara? When I don't see it on my on the thing. I did it already, Nali. Right? Or is it a new one? Wait, did I miss it? I'll do another one though, just in case. I thought I did it. Do, 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 do. Wasn't it if you didn't believe it's here? Wait, wasn't it if you d yeah, if you didn't believe her and you asked for proof, if I'm not mistaken, it was amazing. You had to be there exactly. <laughs> that's exactly. Uh, that's exactly what you're thinking. I love that you all thought the same thing. A unique action. Send me a booba pic. I'll do the other in just a moment. Hold on. Uh, okay, no, I'm just getting text, man, man, man. Damn. Girl. Hold on, no, no, that's enough. I need more. Wait, wait, wait. What's she saying? But if that little Miss Fool excels in observation, there is a chance that she could perfectly imitate everything about a person. I think that the only thing that can differentiate someone from another is their memories. There's no way for an outsider to completely steal or imitate every one ounce of a person's memory. It's just like when we met in Penacone, is it not? A strange dream man surrounding us, a series of strange murders, people with differing dreams, the truth that lies beneath the water surface. I love that she's sending an emoji though, a sticker. Do you need me to go on? But I chose this and she sent a wall of death. Like, man, madam, my love, just send a booba pig something. 
I'll take- I'll take a finger, please! Send me a picture of your hand or something! <laughs> I need more. There's a chance, there's a chance. Oh man, I can't be the one doing all the talking. By your logic, you should also have to prove that you are not sparkle- I'll send you whatever you want. I'll send you whatever you want. I will prove myself. Say less. Say less, madam. I'm just joking. Damn, I'm just joking. As a memo keeper, I naturally know who the person is on the other side of my screen. She is sending a damn girl. Miss Sparkle. Miss Sparkle's pranks are not without their benefit. She is able to make us re-examine what we have seen and think about the appearance and reality of the dreamscape. This is also the reason that I share the dream bubble with you. Alright, looks like she hasn't caused any major damage. I will put my mind at ease. Talk to you again soon. Damn. Damn. Chat, we didn't get booba. I'm sad. <laughs> There we go. Well, we tried. We tried. Your worthless <laughs> Hero was ready to send her everything, right? <laughs> say less. Say less. There's the booba, at least. At least we can have the booba here. She knows what we want. 2.0 era, not as based. My god. Alright, let me drink some water, though. Hmm. That would have been a perfect... Note to end as I gotta go. Hold on, I got you. Let her do her thing. Hold on, because we know she got the cake. There you go. There you go. And she's doing it perfectly, right on time. Right on time. We can get booba, but we can get some some cake. Discard there you go. <laughs> I never noticed that big girls are until you so did. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Very welcome. Look at him. Look at him. Damn. I love this woman. I'm such a shrimp for her. Hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> what did I miss? Oh, we tried. We tried. Is that Bronya typing? Damn. She's just like uh, me for real. Yaps forever. Oh my god. Let me see. I love how you said we didn't get booba, and then in her idol, she said worthless. I know. I know. I uh, know. There you go, chat. Okay. All right. Let me do that. Ara ara. I see it was 43 minutes ago. I'm so sorry. I feel like I did it, but I'll do it again regardless. <clears throat> ara ara. There you go. All right. We did it though, chat. Okay. I I'm not gonna lie. I adore this woman so fucking much, even with that story quest. I already did, but shit, she is a queen. All right. What do I have to do? Discard uh... your worthless destiny. I kind of want to do a quick run of Golden Years and see before we start doing the queue. Yeah, you can leave peacefully. There you go. Yeah, I gave, I gave, I let you, let, I let you see her cake. Thank you for the lurk. Time to one hundred percent the map. That is true. I should do that, but let me see my achievements. I should do that. Oh shit! Did not grab these things. Uh, give me that. Thank you. What are my achievements? Listen. Thank you for the follow, uh, Appy D8. Welcome in. I watched this in JP Black Swan. Does I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Cal, she does an ara ara in JP like a quest. Don't be yeah. Don't be teasing me. Is it is it on YouTube? Please tell me it's on YouTube because I will look for it right now. Rainbow puking. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. The rainbow puking guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. She did. Yes? Okay, okay. Well, I had free time. I should 100% this a little bit. Okay, so. Hold on. Claim. Ah, crap. I didn't read that. Okay, I'll go back and read it. Companion Quest Masquerade. Do it. Yeah, so that was a two for one for both Sparkle and Black Swan because Masquerade. Do it. Claim. 